Hello guys, DuckDread88 back with another episode of Let's Play Open TTD. Now the last episode looks like we hooked up some oil here, and we ran it into this guy here. I th think that's all we've done, if I recall right. I don't know, it's been a week or so since I played this. Been growing our city over here, it's already at 13,000. Yeah, we're loading up on passengers at least. At least we have passengers, that's the good news. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put an airport in here to just keep transporting passengers out. Just because it looks like we have such an immense amount of passengers sitting at this one station. Our ratings are extremely poor for both. Well, they're extremely poor for passengers, but that's because we have umpteen million passengers. So we will work on that, because we have money. And airport, airport, air, maybe, maybe, well flatland is required, okay, let's do it this way. Let's see if we can run that guy here, and now can we build an airport? We can. That's the cheaty way to do it. I like cheating, though. Occasionally. Sometimes you just have to figure out how to... Okay. That's right. It's a bus station. Just have to figure out how to get around the system. So now we got this hooked up. Um, I also wanted to run more airports. That sounds like not a bad idea. We'll run one out to here, why not? Also put in a bus service here. Because why not? New aircraft, what is the biggest, fastest thing you can get me? How many people can I fit on the biggest plane ever? We'll do Darwin 300. If you run here, have you run out to here? There you go. Yeah, they have like tons of tons of passengers. Which is entertaining. And there we go. One passenger, one bag of mail. Now let's work on bus services out here. Not truck bus. Trucks are used for mail. Why can I build. Probably because I demoed all those trees. That usually doesn't make people too happy. If we bribe them, that's too much money. We could fund local construction. We'll do that, because we can. probably want to plow this river at some point. That seems like an inefficiency in our line. Bridges now are going to, since we're so far into the game, they're going to start running into essentially inefficiencies, which is not good. They're growing every 29 days. Local authority still hates me completely because I plowed all their trees and I also ran <laughs> through their city before. So, yeah, we're going to fix that with trees. Trees, 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 trees. But just went away there. Can't plant tree, tree already here. I'm trying to figure out what we lost in this area. Now, since you have dense forest, this is... Yeah, hey, you'll be able to fully load passengers. How do you like us? You like us better. Yeah, it's not really growing. Not like we want it to. Should we come out here? Well, that might help if I put it the right way. Occasionally, you know, things like that do happen, or do help. I want to get rid of the road. That's what I want to get rid of. Because then what we'll do is delete all that road and we'll build a bridge. Because why not? There we go. 
See, bridges aren't as much of an issue for cars, but they are for trains. Trains don't like bridges, normally. Railroad, I want electrified railroad. Oh, it might help also if I delete that to run the train track through. And now they have train track. Woohoo. No, oh, I want this guy. So now we have that slight inefficiency that was annoying me taken care of. Probably wasn't all that major of something to worry about, but we're going to worry about it. And where do I want to throw this transport station thingy? Throw it right there. Why not? This is an extremely inefficient city. Oh, there's an airplane. Here, here, here. Go. <laughs> and charge. That's a very large airplane for that little hangar. It seems almost like it shouldn't work. How much money do you get me? Let's see. How much did you make? $54,000, that's not bad. See, that's how you can make ludicrous amounts of money with airplanes, with passengers, if you have big cities. So that'll be our goal, is big cities. It also does help, too, when you're making cities to sort of help them lay everything out. Like here, I'll build another bridge across for them. Throw a couple things like this. So essentially they can build into here ish sure. Yeah. Just seems a little bit better in my opinion. So now if we rush through the year. Here we go. Okay. Thank you. 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 Lots of messages. I'm just making sure there aren't too many trains in here, but I think I've only seen two at this point. And a lot of them are buses, but that's because buses aren't meant to make money. Buses are meant to build cities. And okay. Give me that. Give me. I'm gonna clone that guy. Or make two of him. Or I'm gonna run both of them now. Hour in 1974, which is cool. As you can tell, sort of where I added in trees. You just see this massive, dense green around here. And you see all this. I can actually show you here real quick. I will turn on trees. If I turn trees on, it gets very confusing in my brain. Because there's multiple colors. And it's hard to see stuff, so that's why I turn trees off. Trees on, trees off, trees on, trees off. Just like you can do that with railroad and trains and bridges, industries and buildings and stuff. But I like seeing the cities. I don't think the cities look too bad. I think they're actually decently nice. But yeah, it's not funded by us, and the city's growing, so. Hooray, maybe we'll make something out of this city before we're done. Um, yeah, we haven't really done with anything with our main cities over here. Stop being lost, ship. This city is growing a little bit. They built a bunch of statues all through this area. That's proper use of city money right there. And they built a bridge across to our bridge. Lovely. There we go. That might help them. They're probably going to completely surround this thing, so we will equalize some land out, and we're going to buy about two squares around in every direction. And that includes that, and get rid of these. Okay, you be that way. I think it's under landscape. Yes.
This will allow us eventually, so while the city, city will grow around us, but we should be able to build up the airport when the time comes. That's the hope. Because at the beginning, this is like the very edge of town. I mean, I can't purchase land with buildings on it. I want to purchase buildings, though. How's the city like us still? They still like us. Even though we're demoing stuff. I could probably mow a third of this city down and they would not care. Yeah, that's, see, see this station was the last time I expanded that way. The station's the last time I expanded this way and they're still going quite far. And they still grow at a rate of about every five days. <laughs> Which is a little insane. You grow about every 19, so that's not bad. Do I have an airport out here? I don't think I have an airport here. That's not good. That's no bueno. And my passengers aren't really going away. That don't help me. That broke down. Are you even... No. You're nowhere near. I... We're gonna wait. So I just upgraded everything to electric. We're gonna wait on upgrading again. Yeah, this is getting to be a busy area here. This is just insanity. This is not too bad. So this is sort of like small, medium, and insanity. That's, those are my ratings on those cities. This city's starting to get to insanity. As you can tell, they're they're like right up against this boundary I built in case they try and build across my train track or anything. That shouldn't happen, hopefully. These guys, they're trying to build across again. And it's not getting them too far. So we're going to help them by destroying their stuff. You can't have that. Um, actually, if we turn building transparency on. Okay, I gotta figure out a way across here. So we can assist them with this by building them a bridge. Another bridge. There we go. Problem solved. Probably wanna turn those buildings back on. There we go. Now they have a bridge to go across. And, and ditch. And ditch is growing. It's good. But they'll probably get gobbled up by that city. Just like these, just like Flanningville will probably get eaten up by Green Hill. And you can actually go in and change the city names. I don't always like that. But sometimes, like, when I play against people, if I play against, like, my friends, I'll just pick a city, build tons of transport in it, and then call it, like, Death Droid 88 City. Which is fun. Um, we're still only in 1974. We still really don't have anything out here. I don't feel like quite expanding this way yet, but we can if we wanted to. Because the only issue with expanding this way is this god-awful intersection here because it's always busy which is not good but you're running at a deficit this year probably not yeah and then see sometimes you can't avoid these cities having all this stuff go up and down and up and down and up and down sorry about that guys I didn't like there accidentally See, 40, 20, then zero. And you made how much money in that run? That's not bad, 4,500, or 45,000, I mean. Are our planes outpacing our trains yet? That's my question. Not quite. Getting there, but not quite. Yeah, we can probably run these guys. We'll 
start by running these guys into here. Do a two by two. I think this is the first time in a couple in-game years I've added on any type of real railroad thing because I'm adding on, well actually I added the oil on I think last episode but I have not been expanding with trains much but that's because trains are making me a decent amount of money for what they're doing which is not bad but sometimes in this game I get lazy lazy never pays off because then you run into issues and stuff like I'm sort of having now so they're not that bad at issues but it's not good to have those issues that we're having so we have that so now we can set up coal transport from here as to where the closest station is depot station right here we'll refit for coal and then we'll run you from here to here and that should add a little bit more in per in money per year to us now you can see we sort of have a couple airplanes flying around the map. Because I don't know what I have for airplanes right now. I think they're all... Yeah, they're all four different ones. We'll replace this with the Darwin. Start placing... start replacing. It's a little bit more expensive but it can handle lots of people which is what we're aiming to do. Eventually we'll get spaceships essentially flying around from base to base. Then that'll be fun. Now what about the transport vehicles? Are we replacing anything? Okay. Get rid of those. So now we don't have to worry about those guys. We'll start replacing these guys, which will help a little bit. I guess they're going to start accepting goods again. Goods is the other thing I may want to transport into the city, because we have such a big city. I mean, it receives enough stuff per, per month. Uh, produce enough to supply the, probably the whole city, but I don't feel like putting that in right now. As you can tell, the laziness can get to you quickly, because we just added this guy on, and hopefully he'll make enough money to keep us going for a little bit. I'm just waiting until like this guy or this guy shut down. Because your production went down, but your production went up, so that helps. We're at 27 million. Almost 28 million. This would be the other city, maybe, to mess around with, like these two here. Build them into this area. I'm not quite sure if I want to do that, though. Maybe I'll do that next episode. But right now, we're just trying to build massive cities. My goal for this one, I'll probably hit it very quickly, is like 20,000. I'm assuming I'll probably get hit that and then go a lot further. But essentially, hopefully that we get start getting the high rises and stuff. We're starting to get it in the city, but I'm looking for the bigger high rises and stuff like that. And where are you at?
least they're able to still keep transporting. That's the good news. Oh, got a new livestock van. Good thing I don't transport livestock at all. New vehicles. Looks like we bought an airplane or something right away. We'll make that money back in no time. As you can tell, road vehicles build up quite fast. Then aircraft adds in. Ships. And then trains start off with $23,000. So, we're getting there. And trains just paid off again. So, I'm going to call it the end of the episode here. As always, guys, go ahead and leave comments as to how um, how you think I can improve the videos. Um, please like the video if you do like it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Also, the other thing I want to try and start doing, too, if you guys have any challenges, like in this game for me, or you have any games you want me to try and play, go ahead and comment those below. And I will try and play those. And I will see you guys in the next episode.